Okay, so we've been asking how um, will you can you add products from the database and display it on your web page? Okay, so I'm just going to use the same register page that I showed you yesterday how to do registration. So this is my registration. Everything is the same. I'm not. The only thing I've added here now is this. So I'm saying a div class, um, upload image, upload a file, ID image, name image, and I'm saying accept any image. That's the only thing I'm changing in the register file. I'm not changing anything else. Now I'm going to show you how that works. So now if I go back to register. So all it did is, is uploaded a file here. So I could fill this up and upload a file. So that's that's all I did. That's added another image. So if you want to add a picture of the person, you could just add it here. Now, once you've done, um, once you've added this, you must also go back to your PHP code. I mean PHP my admin and add another field into your database. So if I go back to my PHP my admin, this is my PHP my admin. This is my users. You are gonna. Uh, as you can see, I've got what you have to do is go into the um, you go into structure and add another field. So all you're gonna do is let me just show you how you're gonna add it. Add and after image go, and then you're gonna choose the name. So I'm gonna call it image one this time. Change that to long bob. So go down. The long bob means you could use images. So long bob. Oops, sorry, where did it go? I go change that to long bob and that's it and press save and if i go back to the users again you could see um sorry if i go back to the structure again you could see i've got image one long bob has been added but i'm going to drop it because i've already got long bob inside there so i'm going to drop this so i've already got one image already added so that's all you have to do so add another field called image so i've done it after the password and let's call it, uh, make sure you call it long bob, not Vacha, not nothing else. So that's how you, how you will amend um, the database. Now, the coding. Let's go back to the coding. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another um, PHP file. I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch any of these files. So all those files could stay as it is. I don't have to touch it. So I'm going to create another one called products. And inside the product, I'm going to do the same thing, do a connection. So I'm going to have a HTML at the top, start the session and do the connection. All I did is took this code from the server. So I didn't change anything. I just went up there to the server and just took this code and I'm doing a connection to the database. So I've done a connection to my database and then I'm saying here, if the database doesn't exist, die. And then, um, now I'm doing a select statement. So I've got SQL statement, which is a select statement. I'm saying select ID, username, email, image from the user table and show them result as a query. So now this is where I am displaying my information. I'm saying if result, if the table has more than one data, more than zero data, that means if it has any data, then fetch the information fetch all the data and display them. So I'm saying print, display ID and get the ID name from the database. Dis um, display something called name and get the username from the database. Email, email name from the database. So that will be on the top first row. On the second row, I'm saying print and I'm saying image SRC and get the image from the database. So we've got images here, get that image from there. Then print, um, if that's only if it is got any record, print all this and display them. If there is no record, let's say there is no record found, that's it. And then close the database connection and that's it. So that's what I did. Okay, one other thing I have to make um, make you aware is your images, because I said image SRC here, I'm showing where the location is. At the moment, I'm putting my image inside my project folder. So your images must be here. So I've got images as download, that's it. I've got it here. So I'm gonna give you guys all the code. So I'm gonna put this code in the folder so now let's let's quickly register um go into my registration page let's register say um nis um nis at hbsh.nis.edu.kz let's put the password as one two three four let's put another password as one two three four 
All right, let's quickly get an um, image of NIS. NIS Kazakhstan. Okay, let's go to images. Um, let's get this. So let me save this. So save image as. <coughs> so again, make sure you're not saving in your pictures. You go to C drive, Xmap, um, HDoc, your project name, and save inside this. So I'm going to call it NIS. Save it. So now that's to double check. It's been saved. Yep, I've got NIS there, and it's a J png file so hopefully png file should work i shouldn't i shouldn't have any issues but i'll if it doesn't work we have to convert it to jpeg okay so going back to my registration page go and choose and choose the file so it's saying image um let's go back to c drive xmap hdoc project and i've got nis there press open so it says nis.png register so you've registered um me as an NIS person. Let me just go and double check on the database if it's been gone in. Refresh it and now go inside the users. I've got NIS there now. So I've got NIS as number six and it's got it's got the image here. So it's blob. Remember what we said we use long blob. Now I'll go and open my products page. So I'm gonna do localhost dash project that's the name dash product dot php enter and you can see so all the images i had so i've got i'm not gonna um, design this page you are gonna design it you could also resize the image you could resize the images in your html you are gonna do all this so to resize the image you're gonna go um back there and display an image size with a width and a height so you're gonna do this i'm not gonna show you how to do this because i don't want to give you all the answers away so you can see I've got a database and I'm showing all the products. So I've got pro, um, product name, hey, hey, that's the good one. So I've got product name, product image. So you could call it product description, product price, and an image that is displayed on the web page. So you are now going to also design this page and make it into a nice format. I've given, I'm going to give you the code to use to um, create this page, but you are going to design the whole thing. So all you have to do is go inside there design it, put a width, put a layout, put a table if you want and make it look nice. Hopefully that is useful for you everyone.